Welcome back to Chemistry Made Easy with Bright Edo. In today's video lesson, we'll be learning on the nomenclature of alcohols, where I'll be giving us different practice problems as seen in the board to enable us to understand this concept better. First thing first, you can see the first compound here. For example, we have to name it. What will be the name of this compound? First, we need to identify the functional group, which is the alcohol. Now, first, the CH3 group here, it is called methyl. It is an alkyl, basically gotten from an alkyl. Basically, it's methane, but removing one hydrogen from methyl. So this is methyl, and this is the alcohol. So basically, it is called methyl alcohol, commonly. So the common name of this compound becomes methyl alcohol and basically it is also called methanol it is also called methanol methyl alcohol also called methanol so this is the name of this compound now moving over to the next question this basically is an ethyl group which is the ch3 ch2 group so this is an ethyl or you say c2h5 Okay, attached to the alcohol. So basically, it's called ethyl alcohol. So it is called ethyl alcohol, also called ethanol. Methyl alcohol, also called ethanol. Now, moving over to the next question. Now, you can see this group, the OH group is attached to, is an isopropyl group. So basically, it is called isopropyl, so this is the isopropyl. Okay, it's called an isopropyl attached to the alcohol, so it's called isopropyl alcohol. So the name of this compound becomes isopropyl alcohol. Isopropyl alcohol is the common name of this compound. So naming it iopactyl, it becomes so we start numbering. Here becomes carbon 1, 2, and 3. Now you can see at carbon 2, we had an OH group here. And basically, a 3-carbon chain is called propane. Okay? But since there's an alcohol group attached to carbon 2, basically the prop changed to propanol. Okay? The propane changes to propanol. But at carbon 2, to be specific, it is called 2-propanol. So basically, the iopac name of this compound becomes 2-propanol. 2-propanol. Now, moving further to the next compound. Now, let's number. We start from here, carbon 1, carbon 2, and carbon 3. Still a 3-carbon chain compound called propane. But you can see this group here is called a methyl group. This is called a methyl group, and the methyl group is at carbon 2, and also the hydroxyl group, which is the OH group, the alcohol, is at carbon 2. So basically, it becomes 2 methyl, because the methyl group is at carbon 2, 2 propanol, because it is a 3 carbon chain. Now, moving on to the next question, let's number from here. One, two, three, four, and five. You know, when we number from here for the substituent, we get a large number. So, you know, in IOPAC nomenclature, the sole aim is to get a lesser number for the substituent. So, basically, it is a five carbon chain, which is called pentane. But in this context, since there's an OH group which is alcohol attached to it, the compound is called pentanol. But to be specific, at carbon two becomes two. Pentanol. Now, moving on to the next question, we number. Start numbering from here. Carbon 1, carbon 2, carbon 3, carbon 4, carbon 5, and carbon 6. If we number from this direction, you can see the number for the each substituent will be the same. Like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Basically, at carbon 3, we had OH here when we numbered like this, and at carbon, at carbon 4, we had another OH. But numbering from this direction, you can see at carbon 3, 
get to it. And also at carbon four, there's oil. So you can number from both directions. Now, first, it is a cis carbon chain. Basically, it will now be called exa. And now you can see there's two OH group in this compound. So what will be the nature of this compound? This compound will be called a diol. Okay? So to be specific, we count. Three, four. We, because we had two H group on the, on the compound, so 3, 4, exa. Because it's a cis carbon compound diol. So let's quickly move over to the next question. Now, this question which group takes the parent name? The alcohol takes the parent name, not the alkyl alite, the alcohol. So basically, we number from the parent name, so it becomes 1, 2, three, four, and five. Five, a five carbon form basic loss is called pentane. So let's quickly move over to the next question, which is question eight. Now, this compound here is a cycloalkane. Cycloalkane attached to the uh, alcohol. Basically, this cycloalkane is basically called cyclopentane because it has five carbons, five carbons, cyclopentane. One, two, three, four and five. So it's called cyclopentane. But basically, since there's an OH group attached to the cyclopentane, it becomes cyclopentanol. Okay, so this becomes cyclopentanol. Okay, sometimes you can put one, one cyclopentanol, but sometimes it's not really important because it's just one OH group attached. So if there's another substituent, so that is when you be specific on the number. So let's move over to the next question. Now, this basically is a cycloalkane, but precisely cyclohexane. Okay, because it has six carbons, but it has two substituents, the alcohol substituent and also the uh, alkyl group substituent. So basically, this is called ethyl. Okay, this is ethyl. So what will be the name of this compound? We start number from here since here is brand name. So one, two, three. We can see how naming alcohols have been done. So if you've not yet subscribed to this channel, do well to hit the subscribe button and also share this video with your friends. Thanks for watching.